Hey guys, welcome to this uh, new YouTube video and in this video we'll be checking out some important Power BI questions which have been asked as a, as a data analyst in uh, EPAM system. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It gives me motivation uh, to prepare more new videos for you and in this YouTube video, uh, in this uh, YouTube channel, I'll be giving you more questions and how to answer them in an interview if you are appearing for Power BI dex uh, or sql so all these i'll be covering uh, in the coming videos as well so let's get started uh, so these are some of the questions which i'll be discussing which have been asked in epam systems so as you all know epam is like a mnc company so if you are going for epam then you can look at uh, these questions so first question is how you implement rls in your project so you can implement rls through uh, through the modeling tab basically and click on manage role and you have to create a new role so for example you have to create a role sales team europe and you have to write uh, the dex expression like country we are filtering based on the country so country equal to france or country equal to germany and country equal to italy then you have to click the save and you have to test the role by view as role publish the report to the power bi service and power bi service also you have to go to the workspace and then you have to click on the security and add the members to the roles you created so you have to answer in this manner point by point basis how you implement rls in your project and you have to give the example as well okay so let's move on to the next question so which license you use in your project and difference between all the licenses so basically you have to answer which license you have you are using in your project based on your project so i have used power bi premium in my current project so i i told that i have used power bi premium and then uh, we have to differentiate between all the licenses so first is power bi free version basically if you have to create the reports and dashboards uh, we are, we can create a uh, connect to different data sources but we cannot uh, like uh, share our reports so this is one of uh, the main uh, reason for practicing like on the power bi free you can practice but you can't share the reports so individuals uh, users exploring power bi basic capabilities for personal project can use power bi free in power bi pro all free features are there Sh we can share reports we can collaborate uh, we can embed in SharePoint online and we can export also our reports to PowerPoint and Excel. What's the cost? Cost is uh, $10 per user per month and small to medi medium sized businesses needing to share the report across the organization will be, uh, give, will be taking this license Power BI Pro basically. Okay. So you have to give uh, all the explanation, all the answers like this uh, with the use case as well. Then we have the Power BI Premium per user. So all pro features will be there. All AI capabilities will be there. Paginated reports also there. Data flows. Uh, we can create the data flows. And we have the higher refresh rates. Okay. Uh, this is like $20 per user per month. And we have like a data analyst require advanced features like AI powered insights or paginated reports will be using this Power BI Premium per user then we, we have power bi premium per capacity it it is used by for example large enterprise with high volume data when we have high volume data we are using power bi premium per capacity okay uh, we have dedicated cloud compute and store resources for this unlimited distribution of content advanced admin controls we have and we have a large data set support but uh, the cost is very high 5,000 uh, 5, per month for entire organization it's, it starts at that and depends on the capacity you are taking okay so you have to answer in this manner uh, key features cost what is the use case and differentiate between all the licenses okay then interview asks how do you analyze performance of your report so you have to answer in this manner uh, first we have to use the performance analyzer so how you use that so open your report in power bi desktop 
go to the view tab and in the view tab we have the performance analyzer and then we start recording and interact with with our report with all the visuals with all the filters and uh, we have to stop the recording and uh, review the results and according to the results we will take the action okay then we will uh, monitor the query performance so we basically look at the duration of individual visual queries and identify visuals that take longer to load so in the performance analyzer if some visuals are taking longer to load and uh, we, we we are getting the time that it's uh, the visual that is taking long then we have to check that visuals okay then in the uh, dax query plans we have to use the dax studio to analyze and optimize our measures basically if you are not using the variables then you can use the variables for optimizing your dax you can optimize the data models for the performance as well so we have to ensure that there is a proper relationship between the tables uh, we are using appropriate data types for our columns we are creating calculated columns only when necessary okay else we can create the measures which is uh, calculated on the runtime also for large data set we can use incremental refresh so incremental refresh uh, which is using two parameters uh, like range start and range end so if you have the date column we can use the incremental refresh only for for example if your if your did uh, if your report only need three month data then why to refresh every time for full year refresh okay so we only need the incremental refresh in that case so that use case you can give to interviewer okay you can use the aggregation tables basically for frequently used calculation on large data set also you can keep an eye on memory consumption of the report uh, and you have to optimize your visuals basically limit the number of visuals per page and uh, use appropriate visual types for your data okay so these all um, is into the performance how you optimize how you analyze your performance uh, basically so interview wants you to give the answer basically on based on the performance analyzer how, have you used the performance analyzer okay uh, so the next question is have you used paginated reports uh, give some use cases of paginated reports so first of all we have to give the answer in that manner that why we use paginated reports so basically we have the precise formatting and layout control in paginated reports the ability to handle large data sets is uh, much more better in paginated reports and if you have repeating headers and footers so we don't have to create every time the headers and footers then we can use the paginated reports page breaks at specific points are there and uh, uh, we have the option to export okay so if you want to export into the pdf for the vendors then you can directly do it in the paginated reports some example use cases you can give like I've used that in my financial uh, reporting system where we will be uh, giving uh, the vendors uh, for the for the paginated reports. Uh, basically, they are printing the balance sheets, income statement, cash flow statement, all these things. Invoice and bills also you can give like customer invoices if you want to print out. Then you can use the paginated report, utility bills, okay, healthcare reports also, patient summaries, lab results insurance insurance claims in this cases we can use paginated reports in academic reports like uh, class roster attendance records inventory reports like stock level reorder list product catalogs okay so if something if you want to print the uh, the list and then we have to give to somebody in that case is basically paginated report is used H hr documents like employee performance reviews payroll reports time and attendance sheets in that type of reports we use paginated so you have to uh, give the answer with the use cases every time you are answering so this is why we are using the paginated reports okay let's move on to the next question what is ols in power bi so ols is basically an object level security in power bi which allow you to restrict uh, access to a specific column or table or uh, or the objects like the charts or visuals in your in your basically in your power bi report how you can implement that you can check some videos you can use the third party tools also to implement the rls in power bi okay so the next question is how you optimize your report 
so to optimize your power bi report you can follow these key strategies so first is data model optimization so first first of all uh, we have to use the star schema design uh, not the snowflake remove unnecessary columns and tables use appropriate data types and create calculated columns only when necessary so this is like data model optimization in dax what we we will do we will use variables uh, to store the intermediate results so that we can reuse those variables again and again we can avoid unnecessary calculate functions okay uh, we can use summarize column instead of summarize when possible and we can optimize our measures basically uh, query reduction we can use uh, like use fewer visuals per page implement drill through instead of multiple detailed visuals uh, you can use bookmarks for different views and in visual optimizations choose appropriate visual types limit data points in visuals all these points you have to cover okay so this is the question for the dax write a dax to rank the products by their sales okay so we have to create a dax so that we can rank the product by their sales so we have used the rank x function and then we have used the all to remove all the filter context from the product uh, product name and then we are calculating uh, the sum of sales amount uh, based on the descending because we have to calculate from uh, in the descending order so we are using descending so this is the dax you can check it again uh, how you can uh, write uh, basically the dax to rank the products by the sales and they have also asked some sql question basically uh, on the windows function so basically they have they have given some some tables and then they want you to use the windows function like row number rank dense rank lag and lead so these are some important uh, windows function you can um, basically check their syntax how you can use them because they will be asking some scenario based question on this so row number is like uh, will assign you a unique number to each row within a partition rank will assign a rank to each row within a partition with gaps for ties okay so if there is a tie uh, the uh, the rank will be uh, like the rank will be skipped okay and dense rank the rank will not be skipped if there is some tile and tile uh, divide the row into an appropriately equal groups basically so that you can query them lag and lead are the important function so basically access data from a previous row in the result set and lag is access data from a subsequent row in the result set so hope uh, you guys have like uh, like this video if you like this video please like and comment uh, hope to see you again in the next video Thank you.